Hello everyone, I'm Clarence PN Frank. Today I want to introduce our new Clarence Layer 2 series. It's called a Janet 15200 series. Okay, okay, and here is my slide. Okay, so first of all, you can see this is a new generation powder series. We we'll start from the Apple, okay, 1508 to 10 Pro to 12 and to 16 Pro. And the first feature is that they are all support the latest, the POE standard, it's called the IEEE AO2-3BT. Okay, it, it, it's called, it's a uh, support for the latest POE standard. Okay, so uh, furthermore, okay, the first key feature is it has great flexibility because we start from the 8, 10, 12 to 16 Pro and uh, contain the POE and the non-POE option. Okay, so we provide a great variety about flexibility to user, okay, to choose for the suitable application. And the second is uh, it support the latest 90 watt ultra POE. Okay, as I mentioned, it's, it uh, support the latest P a POE BT standard. Okay, as we know the the uh, the it before maybe the 80 30 watt. Okay, and the now the latest standard POE BT has come up. Okay. And the, our Janet 15200 series for the 90 watt ultra PoE for PoE models. And the third point is about his support of multiple cyber security features. Okay, because we know that nowadays the, the cyber security is getting more and more important because maybe the hacks will may attack from the lo local side or remote side. Okay, so we have a different cyber security functions okay, to pre prevent the this kind of uh, attack and uh, finally we we uh, really support a high fiber pole okay because in some application the maybe one or two the fiber pole is not enough okay and uh, so that's the reason we have the different multiple from the two to four and the, the maximum to the eight fiber pole and we believe we can uh, suitable for different application which require the high fiber and uh, this slide show about the um, POE trend. Okay, as we know, the POE is getting more and more, more popular. Okay, and uh, this is uh, a, a report. Okay, that we can see, for example, in the USA, okay, the, the POE trend from the uh, 2018 to two, uh, 2012, okay, this, this can increase from the 16.6% about the PSE. And uh, for the, about the PD power device, the increase will uh, increase about uh, 15 six. Okay, so it, it, you can see it, it can have a huge in, in, increase in the future. Okay, and uh, in the uh, APEC POE solutions, we can see this slide. Okay, this uh, will be getting more popular on uh, like uh, connectivity or infotainment, lighting control, and etc. Okay, so <clears throat> we can see the POE market trend will get more and more higher in the in a few years, okay? Okay, and uh, for Collins, we have a great variety, managed switch before already, okay? And uh, now we join the new latest Gen 8 5200 series. It, it, mean, it means we can have the from the 8, 6, 12 to 16, okay? So we can have the, a new different product family in our layer two series. Okay, and in POE as well. Okay, we, we can start from the 8 to 16. So we, we can provide a POE and a non POE, and for low pole to high pole, the total, total, uh, total different switch to our users. Okay. Okay, and we know the POE is everywhere. And okay, and the later, and the later I will introduce some POE application. Okay. And what is POE? Okay, POE as we can see from its name, okay. Power over Ethernet, so it means that uh, the the power can carry it, okay, over the Ethernet, okay. Because for example, in the IP camera, in the before <clears throat> maybe they need uh, the data RJ45 Ethernet and uh, uh, require additional power power cable, okay, to power on, right? But uh, with the PoE function, okay, we can provide the power via the PSE. In the PoE, there are two two rows. The the first one is the PSE. Power source increment. In in and in this serial is like the switch, okay, POE switch, which will provide power to our, to the devices. 
another one is which which one the getting power. For example, like we call the power devices. In the in this example is a, like an IP camera. Okay, it's a, it, it is a PD. Okay, so in the before maybe they need, they need an Ethernet cable and the, another power cable, right? But now with the PoE function, okay, we can just use the one cable. It means the Ethernet cable, and it can transmit the power and the data together. Okay, so the first benefit is, uh, will be it's very cost saving because now you only need to install one cable. Okay, so it's very cost saving because like uh, the labor saving and the installation saving of the cable. And the second is uh, easy, easy installation because uh, <coughs> now that you just need one cable okay, to power on your devices. So it's a much easier installation compared with before. And the last one is uh, it has a greater scalability. Because in the past, uh, maybe some limitation, you don't have uh, additional power in, the, in this kind of environment. But now you just need to one RJ45 is in a cable. Okay, you can power on your power devices. So it has a greater scalability. Okay. And uh, for the peer standard, okay, you, we can see like the, on the 2003, the first one is a IEEE AO2-3F, okay, POE. And then the max power up to the 15 watt. And then in the 2009, okay, the 18 more, okay, has come up, okay. Support to the 30 watt. And then now you can see on the 2018, okay, the PoE BT, it will call the PoE plus plus has come up. And then it can support the purple up to 90 watt. Okay, so it's very huge power of the of the PoE new standard. Okay, in the past maybe like the IPC or some NBR, maybe, maybe they cannot uh, and then they require a higher power uh, PoE. Uh, and then in the in the new application with the BT, we can support this kind of uh, the huge higher power wall, power requirement with the PoE BT. Okay. Okay, and the uh, BT application is a uh, is uh, in different kind of uh, application. Okay, in the 15 one, maybe you just need a uh, IP camera or IP phone. Okay, and the 80 80 one, 80 more like a wireless AP or some electricity display. But with the PoE BT 90 watt, okay, it support to the 16 watt as well, okay. We can power on like a laptop or the, or the post system, smart lighting or some PTZ camera, etc. Okay, so in a, with the new standard, we, we believe the, like a, the other PoE PD will have, has come up as well because the power switch PSE have the higher power can provide to the PoEPD. So we believe uh, a new like a new market devices will come up in a few years. Okay. Okay, and uh, this this show about about the uh, resolution. Okay, maybe now that the 4K or Full HD is a uh, mainstream of, of the resolution. But now we can see some TV has already have a 8K. Okay. 8K, uh, uh, which requires a higher resolution, right? So it means it requires a higher uh, camera and higher uh, camera power. So you can see, for example, in this camera, PDG camera, it, it can support the PoE++. Also, you can see it support the latest the PoE BT. Okay, so this is uh, like uh, the power device example. Okay, and this is show about our example in the market, okay, supermarket, okay. In the supermarket, we can provide our Janet 15200 BT product okay, to a customer. You can connect to the, like, a digital signage and the, like the IP camera, like a PDZ camera. And, the, and the connect to our layer 3 switch. Okay, so it can have a total solution to our like, a supermarket application. Okay, and this I show about the uh, warehouse. As we know, the warehouse, the, they, they require the wireless AP, okay, because sometimes they will have some uh, HEV on the warehouse, okay. So it, you can choose our clients, the wireless AP, and the, it is a PD as well. And they'll combine with our uh, POE switch, okay, to our warehouse, this kind of application. Okay. And in traffic control uh, as well, okay, we can uh, use the Generate switch and uh, to count power on many multiple devices and uh, to up to the uh, uh, data center via our multiple fiber pole. Okay. 
And the, furthermore, we have a different functions on the PoE. Okay, the first one is about the port configuration. Okay, you can see this is like the, the real uh, web capture from the, from the switches. Okay, so you can choose the per port, or like maybe in this example, maybe port 1 and port 2, just need a 90 watt, and others maybe require less PoE. So you can choose the per port or the power mode, okay, in this kind of on the web GUI, okay. And we can do the PD alive check because we can check the another PD power device is still alive or not. If there has some error, okay, maybe we can be able to turn off and turn on, be able to pull, I get to turn off, turn on the power devices. Okay, so we can use the PD alive check. Okay, and for PoE scheduling, it means uh, maybe maybe in the, your application you don't need to. Turn on or the PoE the or the whole day. Okay, maybe just just time more some time period. Okay, so you can choose the PoE scheduling to choose the which day and uh, which time you want to power on about the PoE. Okay, so this uh, this is our PoE schedule functions. Okay. Okay, and the PoE priority you can choose the which port is more critical and if some abnormal power ha uh, issue happen, okay, it, it will it will ensure some high priority the power be stable okay okay and then now we can go through to our products okay the first one is about the 1508 okay you can see it's my on my left side okay this is a uh, total airport total airports uh, and uh, uh, it's a layer two product okay so there are several features the first one is very compact size so you can see it's very slim slim sense no matter its height or the the uh, wireless is very compact size. And the second is very robust, okay, we, because we design with the industrial grade, okay, so we have the higher EMC protection, higher the wide temperature, and the five years warranty, okay, for the, our generator, generator series, okay. And uh, it's a very flexibility because it combines a non PoE and a multiple fiber pole, and the PoE is for the AT to BT, okay. And finally, it's very intelligent because it is a layer two switch. Okay, so we can do like a PoE control and some layer two features and have a greater cybersecurity functions. Okay. Okay, and the besides, we support some network redundancy. Okay, for example, current proprietary read we call the MSR over the standard log IT ITU G dot AOC two. Okay, ERPS. Okay, the latest read standard. Or STP as well. So we support no matter our proprietary read or some new <coughs> the standard read, we our generator are all compiled with this kind of redundancy protocol. Okay. And uh, we support a device management, okay, <coughs> like uh, SMP, Armand, Web GUI, and etc. And uh, we, we uh, can support uh, our current view and MS. So we can do like uh, the the uh, management. Uh, like like a control center to do some management system. Okay, so because we support a cross view and the MMS, and uh, we support a multiple layer two functions. Okay, like a VLAN, DHCP, and etc. And they have a uh, different advanced advanced uh, security features. And uh, we have an uh, event trap on our Janet. Okay, fifteen to hundred series. Okay, so we can you can see this is our like we have a uh, uh, like uh, the solution guide to customer. So you can have an easier solution for your suitable applications. Okay. Okay, and this example is show about in the fetch automation. Okay, because the customer they don't need the the high they need us uh, common size. Okay, so let's choose our fifteen or or two. Oh, sorry, fifteen or eight G. Uh, in the uh, fetch automation. Okay. And in the POE series, we you can see we have uh, like uh, four models from the AT. Okay, and the BT and the and the contain two fiber or or just ARJ45. So we, we provide different models to our customer. Okay. And the, this is simple in the highway because we know in the highway they mean the multiple high the multiple fiber pole and the connect to our layer switch which generate a 176 okay and the, to the control center. Okay, so we can provide a different from the layer two and the layer three switch in the different application. Okay, and the second model is our 15, uh, 15 to 10 and the 15 to 
12 G series. Okay, so it starts from the 10 to 12 pole. Okay, the feature is similar, and the, 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 the difference is between its uh, total pole and the, the total PoE budget. Okay, so you can see this is uh, a uh, selection table. Okay, in the 15, uh, in the 10 pole, it has a container of eight Ethernet combined two combo, and in the 12 pole, it plus an additional two fiber. So it means that you can choose a total fiber five fiber pole. Okay, in the in the 12, uh, 12 pole, this product. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is a real success story in uh, Taiwan. Okay, this is uh, offshore the wind power. Okay, in this uh, wind power, the it has the each uh, wind tower has the one the 15 to 12 G product on the wind tower. Okay, and uh, they use the ERPS read connect the different switch together and uh, to the uh, in <coughs> in the un ensure they use use the layer switch switch okay to become a total uh, read okay to con uh, connect to the control room okay so this is a real success in the uh, Taiwan okay okay and uh, in the POE model as well we we support the AT more and the BT more okay so the customer can choose their different real application Okay, and this uh, this is example in uh, China. It's a smart parking. Okay, we provide our JWave with a wireless product and uh, with uh, our JNet, okay, POE product to the smart parking in the China. Okay, okay and finally, I'll show about the, the system port. Okay, 15 to 16 port. So you can see there are two series. The one is a POE model, another one is non POE. Okay, and in the non-POE model, you can see it's support up to eight fiber pole. Okay, so it's very maximum about it's very enough about the fiber multiple fiber uh, this kind of requirement because sometimes it maybe in some chapter this kind of application the maybe four pole is fiber pole is not enough. Okay, in this case, okay, look, you can choose our this kind of system pole because it can support up to five. Eight fiber port to you to, to you to uh, to use. Okay, so this is our uh, non POE model. Okay, okay, this is about a story in the Taiwan for the solar station because it, it needed around the sixteen fiber port. So we pro, we provide our customer with this model and with our DLC switch together in the solar application. Okay, okay, and in the POE model. In the POE model, we can support up to 12 port. Okay, and, uh, and uh, it support the AT more and the BT more. Okay, for the different model on, the, on, on this series. Okay, so this is our uh, 15 to 16 G series. Okay, and uh, this is uh, a uh, real case in a smart factory. Okay, because they have uh, like uh, the different zone, like a production line, storage room, and the control room. Okay, so, and uh, they want to use the fiber to connect different area together. Okay, so that's the reason they choose this model, okay? Okay, and then finally, this show a, pro, uh, a portfolio of our current the giant, manager switch. Okay, so you can see, with uh, our latest, the 5200 series, okay, we can provide the whole four gigabit, okay, the Eastern Apple and the start from the Apple to Sydney port and the contain the non-POE and the POE models, okay? So customer, they have a greater variety of models they can choose from. And we can target for like the smart city, smart transportation, and IoT, okay? And we believe we, we, with this uh, no, new family, we believe we can target for many kind of industrial application, okay? Okay. Okay, I think I just go very quickly go through about our like our new series of our generator fifteen two hundred series. And if you have any question, just feel free to contact sales or contact us directly. Thank you for your time.